on Philosophical. This is my channel. We healing over here. Love you guys. Thank you for all your support. If nobody told you they love you today, I love you, okay? We're going to do uh, see what's up with Pisces females. All right. Uh, hello, hello, will I slide? I feel like somebody really slid down, man. They slid down like somebody went down, okay? So I, I guess this is somebody you're connected to. Uh, we'll see, because in the Pisces male reading, uh, King of the Thing Bad, King who my bruv, showed up. So, am I a slut? So, somebody's being seen as a slut. Okay, Pisces, female? I don't know. If this is you or someone you're connected to. Anyway, high vibrational beings only. Let me turn this up. She's in my bed. Alright, let's see. Pulls the trigger and so somebody could be like wanting to shoot somebody or they could have gotten shot or something. I don't know. Let's just see. There's so much happening, but it doesn't sound good. Pisces female. Sun rising Venus or cross watcher. If you're watching for a Pisces female, uh, let's see what's going on. Okay. Let's see. Tell me what Pisces females need to know. Warrior. So you're being seen as a warrior. You're strong. Let me see what this is first because I mean, it's obvious that there's um, negative, uh, beings popping in here and want to be seen. So if they want to be seen so bad, let's expose them, right? Slit in my throat. I feel like somebody wants to kill themselves or they wanted to slit somebody else's throat. Uh, higher vibrational beings only, please. Can you show me? Yes. Can you show me? No. Uh, is to, is this year 2023? Is it 2022? Thank you. Is this the light attribute of the warrior? So somebody traded, they sold their soul, traded, trading ethical principles for victory at any cost, indifferent to the suffering inflicted on others. Okay, so this is, I guess, I don't know if this is you or someone that you're dealing with here. Okay, someone you walked away from, possibly. This is for Pisces females. You walked away from a cold... Cold heart and snake. Look into his eyes. I feel like you can see the coldness in somebody here. Tell me about this. Tell me about this low vibing, uh, this person who traded, sold their soul. Tell me about this person who sold their soul, please. Yeah, this is like the ultimate betrayal here. So I feel like this is someone you had a relationship with. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Could be a Leo. You can feel backstabbed and betrayed by a Leo here. True. So you feel betrayed by a Leo. Why? You know my ex makes it all so complicated. So this could have something to do with an ex. This is an ex of yours possibly. This Leo. Why? Somebody thought that you were going to compete or... or so. There's some kind of betrayal here that has to do with best friend. This could have been your best friend or something. Somebody could have been with your best friend. I feel like there's somebody here that's very competitive or jealous of a Leo specifically. Okay. That specifically. If I want to talk general here, I feel like somebody, somebody betrayed somebody because uh, they're jealous of their strength. They're, they're jealous of how strong somebody is. So there could be a warrior on the upside of this. And that, that I'm going to guess that's you. Because uh, so far I haven't felt like there's a negative Pisces female that came in here yet. Uh, but somebody here is like, they're just very mean and very arrogant. I'm picking up a very arrogant energy. Tell me about this. Last year was messy. Last year was very messy for you. I feel like grandfather, this could be your grandfather you, uh, feels betrayed by you or you feel betrayed uh, by a grandfather here. Somebody could have actually had something to do with their grandfather's death. And that's why this is somebody that sold their soul. And the grandfather could actually have been a Leo. All right, let's see. Tell me about this. Why is his grandfather here? Homeless and silver car. So, I mean, somebody that you were dealing with has a silver car. They either tried to make you homeless or, um, let me see. Child. Oh, wow. 
So if you're this child, you could have had a fight with your grandfather maybe. And this grandfather could have like put you on the street or something. Let me find out here. I just want to find out. Higher vibrational beings only. Because these messages are very specific. They're not going to resonate with everybody, but that's how I do it. Is the Pisces female the child? Is it the Pisces female's child? Does their child drive this silver car? Was this grandfather by any chance killed? Did this Pisces female sell their soul? <sighs> Hold on to me, cause I'm a little unsteady. Somebody's very unsteady here, okay? Wow. All right, so let me just see if I can put this together here. I feel like there's a grandfather. I just saw the King of Pentacles that feels backstabbed and betrayed because I feel like if there's a betrayal like this, so there's a grandfather that could have been sick and was suffering and somebody didn't take care of them well. Yeah, so, so, the, so somebody that you had a child with, I feel like this could be like maybe um, they put you in a third party situation or they tried to try. Maybe they tried to triangulate you with your child. For some of you, they wanted you homeless and they didn't want you to have a relationship with your child or your children. Your child could be a leader here. I don't know what this grandfather thing is about right now. All right. This could be a grandfather that passed away coming through. But it actually said that this grandfather felt betrayed. So it still could be a grandfather that passed away. All right. Somebody could have tried to triangulate you with with a with a Taurus here. Okay. So so I feel like you put boundaries up with this person, or you could be married. This could be somebody you were married to. All right. You could have been married and had kids with this person here. This is like kind of all over the place. I'm sorry. Cause I'm a little unsteady. Somebody's very unsteady here. So there could be a Taurus that either put, is putting their boundaries up because they don't deal with third party situations anymore. Or somebody tried to triangulate you with a Taurus. All right. Now this child could be like a, that somebody acts like a child here. All right. Let me see. That's like kind of a confusing message here. I want to get into something else. Hold on. Let's see, the man from Colorado. So you could live in Colorado or somebody could live in Colorado. That's for somebody. Hmm. Outnumbered, so somebody feels like they're outnumbered. Somebody is outnumbered. Tell me more about this for Pisces female. On the run, all right. So whoever this is, they're on the run, all right. Why? Deadbeat dad. All right. So this person's a deadbeat dad. They lace pot. So I'm mean, okay. Well, there we go. <laughs> Here we go. They could have did this with a child. I feel like I'm, I wouldn't be surprised. Your ex. So your ex is on the run. They're a deadbeat father. Uh, okay. So this 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 could have. They could be bald. This person could be bald. They're a killer. <laughs> Loves me so, and this I know for sure. So this is the kind of person that doesn't like people to cheat on them, but they cheat, all right? Hates you. So your ex hates you, all right? Your ex hates you. They're on the run. You don't trust this person, all right? I want to pull some cards on this now. Let me see. Somebody's name could be Andre. Let me see. Truth. So this is probably not going to be for every one of you, but somebody's ex is on the run. Can't cups. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? And what? And what? Is there some kind of truth that came out about another water sign here? Yeah. Uh, you're protecting. So you, there. first off, there could be a water sign trying to protect to keep the truth from coming out, okay? But if that's not it, there's some truth that came out about a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio male, 
and you're like, now you're like, I don't even want nothing to do with you. All right. So let's find out. Uh, you could find out they're wrestling with some magic. Yeah. I feel like because this person is like, you're like, I, I can't like this. Uh, it's just nothing but fighting. This is a, a, like an arrogant person. This is like one of those dudes where, um, they're violent. I feel like they put their hands on you or they verbally abuse you or some shit like this. And they're very manipulative and, and, and op probably opportunist energy is what I'm picking up. I want to get one of these. Happy here. Yeah, you're not, you aren't happy with this person anyway. It's like this person is just like a waste of space, you know? It's like they don't take care of their kids. They lace pot. They probably get with young chicks or something. Or they could have actually like hooked up with somebody too young. Yeah, this is like somebody that's cruel, right? They like to play God, okay? They, they like to control people. And I feel like you have your guard up with this person. Tell me more about for Pisces females. You could be an advocate for this, like you could be speaking up on this, or or you're listening to advocates about this could be a narcissist, but narcissistic abuse, this is coming out a lot. Um, I feel like you had a lot of compassion for this person, but it's kind of like every time you would show compassion for this person, they would take advantage of you again, I feel like, okay? All right, so I want to stay on this Cancer Pisces Scorpio and find out like what kind of truth came out about this person, Okay. So we know that they put shit in pot and I feel, I, I honestly feel like they, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if like the drugs women to rob them, so this bean comes out because that, that's pretty much why people lace pot, right? Sometimes they lace pot with, um, graveyard dirt to do their spell work. That's why the magician was at the bottom. Uh, they'll put graveyard dirt and coffee and people's food and pot and smoke it with them. And then they do spells to try to make them look crazy and commit suicide. Okay, let's see. 11 o'clock exactly. Yeah, so I feel like that's what it was. It was just 12 o'clock exactly. Uh, 12 minutes on here, and it's just 11 o'clock exactly. So this person, I feel like, put graveyard dirt in pot. They could have long hair. Let's see. Tell me more about this person. What, what was the truth that came out? Why are they on the run? Uh, sober, so you could be sober. You're sober and gifted. All right, so for you, you're sober and you have spiritual gifts, okay? This person lied to the police probably and said that you were a drug addict. All right, let me see. Tell me about this. Trafficking drugs. All right, so that's what this person is on the run for. They triangulated you. They probably tried to get you caught up in trafficking drugs, setting you up, putting something in your car or your home or some shit like that. That's what narcissists will do. They'll hide shit in your home when they're dating you or they'll hide it in your car. And then when you guys get pulled over or something, they'll actually fucking put it on you and say that they know nothing about it. This is this kind of dickhead here. Jekyll and Hyde. So you're dealing with somebody who's uh, got mental problems, okay? unsellable houses so you could have a house with this person or this this person that may have a home that like they let go and now they can't get their money back on it 1313 something with a grandfather again i want to pull on this i want to find out what's up with this grandfather this person could be a grandfather i mean you know this 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 you know i, I keep every time i see a grandfather in voodoo uh, every time I see grandfather or grandmother, I always think they're old people. And that's not the case because there's, because people are having kids at 12 and shit. It's like there's grandmothers and grandfathers uh, in their late forties and shit. It's crazy to me, man. It really is. It's like, and the parents have to take responsibility for why this happened. That's another generational curse. But most parents will be like, wow, how could you do this to me? And it's like, bitch, you got fucking pregnant at 14. What are you talking about? You know what I mean? It's like, that could be like something that's happening. I don't know why I just said that, but that could be a situation where, so they filed a false police report. His grandfather did. Tell me more. They're not taking any accountability for this either. So if they lied to the police and said some shit about you, like that you were violent, um, this person is slipping in the darkness. Maury. So this could be like a Maury. Like you could have felt like, like oh, you're on an episode of Maury with this person. This person could have a lot of kids, you know, kids everywhere and shit. In the future, what's happening in the future? What? Thank you. You could be, you'll be dealing with an Aries in the future. Or, or you're going to have a Divine Masculine, because that's also the Emperor card. And what's up with this Aries in the future? You were right. So there may be some kind of man or masculine uh, energy. You were right that maybe they were planning your funeral. This person. As it was. 
Where do I want to use these? I know it's not the same. So it's like nothing is like, it's like the, not the same. Like I feel like this person kept trying to come back into your life and, and, and it's just constant disappointment, like constant letdown. Like, you know, you come in, you love bombing and then there you go right back to the same shit with your bitches everywhere or some shit like that. Or how many more you were right. Let's find out what you were right about. Maybe, maybe they're got to be the the other woman, right? So maybe you were right about there being another woman. Somebody could be bulimic. I feel like somebody's bulimic here. They're losing weight, but they're not doing it in a healthy way. They're eating food and throwing up. You were right about some, uh, something that has to do with your daughter, possibly, or somebody's daughter. Tell me more. Or your daughter was right about somebody, that this person uses, like, uh, Christianity to lure people and shit. They're a drug addict, so. Ooh, you got a lot going on here, Pisces female. So you could have known this person since you were like 16 or younger. This, this could be somebody that you, you dated from high school. Staying up all night. All right. You could have like had a lot of pillow talk with this person. Like you trusted this person. You told them a lot of your secrets. Very sweet. This could be your first for some of you. Yeah, I feel like you found balance, all right? 11 could be relevant. It could be someone's uh, life path number or you born in, uh, or the birth, like on the 11th day. Your child could be 11 for some of you. Yeah, I feel like you found balance, right? And you're moving forward. You could meditate or you just found peace in your life. And of course, that's when all the ding that's uh, and the monsters come out at night, right? So you're moving forward. So this is my guided moving forward. Like you started relying on your guides and your ancestors. Eight could be relevant. That's also the number of abundance. So you're starting to generate money on your own, okay? It's everywhere I go. It's everything I see. So I feel like this person's reminded of you everywhere that they go. Yeah, you moved on from your past. You got over this. You healed from this. You found balance. You're like, okay, you know, I got on from the past and somebody didn't like that. Somebody thought you were going to compete or that you were, uh, somebody wanted to get revenge. Let me see. You moved on from this person. <sighs> yeah, you started loving yourself. You moved on from your past and started that self-fucking-love tour, okay? I hear you, girl. And uh, I'm guessing that somebody didn't like this shit, okay? Somebody's like, I'm gonna slow Pisces down. And some Pisces are like, bitch, I fucking wish a motherfucker would. Let's see. Let's see. Tell me more. Tell me more. I'm all survivor. So I feel like you're just a survivor. Like, you would be going on, like, uh, naked and afraid. Like, you're the kind of person that somebody wants on their island. You feel me? Let's see. You were begging me. So somebody could have been begging you, like, maybe um, not to expose them or not to leave. Yeah, you started You started putting yourself first because I feel like this person uh, was treating you like an option. They had, this is like hair and garage. It's like, in the past, I feel like you offer people love who treated you like an option, period, okay? And you're not doing that anymore, and you're realizing you were dealing with some devilish energy. You could have been dealing with a Capricorn. Yes, truth. So in the past, you offered like genuine love to people who treated you like you were a dime a dozen, and you're not doing that no more. And I feel like you started loving yourself, and that's got somebody in a, in a tizzy, okay? I see. That's got somebody in a tizzy. Oh, well. Okay, that's what I said. Oh, well. Let me put some more together. This person could be fucking with voodoo. Somebody could be had a heart attack. They could have a heart attack. You don't trust them. Somebody could be trying to have somebody come towards you to try to confuse you. Tell me more. Gemini with red hair. Some of you are dealing with a Gemini that has red hair. So you have two people to choose from, I feel like. I feel like you're gonna have or you, you're gonna have two dudes to choose from. Stole your identity. So a Gemini that has red hair, this is specific for somebody. Or they have reddish hair. Maybe reddish blonde, strawberry blonde hair. They stole your identity. No. Or maybe you thought so. Let me find out because I don't want to confuse anybody here. You could have thought that they did. Maybe this is for somebody and they're saying that they didn't. Hold on a second. Higher vibrational beings only. Is this a Gemini with red hair here? Are you saying that they, they did steal their identity? 
So it's not that they didn't. All right, this is going to be specific for somebody here who thinks that a Gemini that has red hair stole your identity. Uh, I feel like maybe this no then is that you were shocked. Like, no, I can't believe that you did this. Or maybe that's what you're saying now. Somebody could be saying like now because it's going to make it to whoever it needs to make it to. All right, that's just how energy works. <sighs> so uh, for somebody, that's a Gemini with red hair did. Okay, King of Swords. What's this King of Swords here? Page of Cups. This could be the father of your children or your father. This could be your dad for some of you. Stole your, stole your identity. They could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius maybe. Let me see. Hold on. Too many. Tell me more. So I feel like this could... Yeah, or someone you were married to. Oh, okay. This is definitely somebody that you were married to, I feel like. All right. A cold person. So for some of you, this is your father. This father could be a Taurus. For others of you, it's and it's a family member. For others of you, uh, this is somebody that you were married to, okay? Uh, you could have been dealing with the random issues. You could be dealing with a Virgo or, you know, this person's under straight fucking investigation because this together is my investigator card, all right? Yeah, being watched, I just saw this King of Swords could actually be this investigator here. Let's see. Get your refund, motherfuckers. I'm not dead. <laughs> so you could say this a lot, Pisces. <laughs> I feel like this person. So obviously there's somebody who wanted you not uh, breathing anymore, right? Join the club kind of shit, okay? Yeah, I feel, <laughs> I feel like this person is spying on you heavy, too. An Aquarius, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. I'm telling you, I feel like this Aquarius could actually be your father for some of you, and they stole from you, okay? Uh, this Gemini could just be that they had Gemini in their chart, or that's also the lover's card. So like I'm saying, this is definitely someone you had a soul contract with. It's going to be different for all of these, but somebody got some reddish hair. Somebody here got some reddish hair, or they have like red 22, 22, or they have red things in their hair. It's going to resonate with somebody here. All right, let me find out some more for you. We're at 22 minutes already. This is somebody from your past life here. Mother's Day. So I, I don't know there's something about Mother's Day coming up or amazing. Tell me more about this, please. Money, money. Yeah, this was all for money. Videotaped you without consent, so they could have put cameras in your home. Or they were in traffic. I just heard traffic, but this news, but uh, they could have tried to traffic you, okay? Heavy delays. So this person could be had experience in heavy delays because of the shit that they did to you, or they were trying to cause heavy delays in your life. Someone's being forced to take accountability for videotaping you. Their first name could start with the letter N through Z. Somebody could need an oil change. That's for somebody. Somebody needs to get their oil checked or changed. Yes. So they are being forced to take accountability. Like you already know that they tried to videotape you or they did videotape you. All right. Somebody could be losing their hair. Cancer. So that could be why somebody's losing their hair or you're dealing with a cancer who videotaped you without your consent. Okay. Tell me more. Jealous of your daughter. And if you don't have a daughter, then if there's a cancer that's jealous of your daughter. Or you are this daughter that a cancer is jealous of. Okay? Depending on who's watching this. Oh, mama. So there's definitely... This could be your mom, Pisces, is a cancer and they're jealous of you. Okay? That's what that sounds like. All right. Beyond the unknown. Charlie's angel. So I feel like you're an archangel. You know it. And uh, you you deal with uh, mysticism. You, you, you connect with um, things beyond the unknown, right? Pipes and my cow. You could definitely be dealing with a Pisces here. That's always like reminds me of the moon card here. Or you're just very spiritually gifted. But we're going to pick up on both of these. Put the pedal to the metal. So you could be like driving or having a new car. 
and like and just driving around. Focus on opening yourself to greater power and reputation. All right. So I feel like if you had a bad reputation, like a lot of us, especially if you're a light worker or star seed or chosen one, we had bad reputations. We had people talking about us. It wasn't really our reputation that was bad. It was the shit, the jealous and envious people. We're saying you take pride. So I feel like you're very, you have good pride. You take pride. You're, you're very proud of yourself. Okay. So I feel like somebody here tried to ruin your reputation. They could be currently doing this. Yikes. Focus on long-term strategy and quick thinking when plans change. So you could be the kind of person where before where you had everything planned out. And I feel like yeah, now you're just kind of free spirited and living day to day. And it's like you're, uh, you're, you're embracing change, which could have been a problem for you before. We all reach tipping points in life. So this person that's in this devilish energy, I just saw this devil card, is is uh, reaching a tipping point. Yeah, you, you're relying on your guides and the unknown. That's what I'm getting. Like, and, you, and this has been working from you. And you started working on yourself, okay? You did a lot of uh, shadow work here. Yeah, you started working on self-love for sure. I feel like you're taking care of your health, your hair, uh, your skin. I feel like you're just loving yourself more, you know? Like you had to. Somebody could have been diagnosed with cancer. A Leo could have been, but I feel like you're just happy. Like you're just, you're in this happy energy, you know, you're healing. You're, you're happy with yourself. I feel like you had to be happy with yourself because I honestly think a lot of people took advantage of your light. You could be um, offering some love to a Leo here. Okay. But if this is it, look, so you're making better decisions in your life and it's making you happy, right? Because you're happy. Is it one way or the other? Is it you're making better decisions because you're happy or you're happy because you're making better decisions, right? But I feel like you're doing something independently for work. You started some kind of business. Okay. I don't know if it's online or whatever. And I feel like you're happy with it. It's successful. You know, it's about to be successful. And of course, somebody wants to come in now real quickly. Why? Right. If somebody wants to come in now. Why? Somebody's trying to sabotage this. Yeah, a fucking karmic masculine is trying to sabotage this. You could be dealing with a fire sign, but if not, you just realize uh, you're making better decisions and you're not dealing with karmic men, first of all, okay? The letter K could actually be relevant to somebody. Yeah. You're, somebody's mad uh, that you, you have some kind of independent income. You have a, a means of income. Somebody that you, you put an end to some shit with. Yeah, you could be a tarot reader with the Page of Pentacles, Okay. And you're, this person could be watching your channel and getting pissed off like they're more mad because they see you changing and they see you doing better. Where are we at? 27? It was 27, 27. I don't want that to happen to you. So you could have somebody, oh, I don't, I definitely won't be doing that again. So I feel like you're just like, I definitely am never getting involved with somebody like this again or people like this. Okay. You are definitely right about something. You meditate or you're just, you rest well, or you start at meditating, maybe listening to sound frequencies. You could have brown hair. Let me see. Somebody could have gotten into an accident. This person steals, this is like a petty thief, a pawn. They steal from their own mother's purse, okay? Uncontrollable urge to do bad things. Wow. I forgot I even made those cards. They haven't come out yet. So this is just a really, this is like somebody that just want to be gang member or want to be, that's what I'm picking up on. Like somebody here that's just like, uh, they're not even good. They can't even steal a free fucking sample. Last name N through Z. <sighs> they have passed somebody up. So I feel like they passed you up for some of you. They, this person, the Taurus, that for last name N through Z. I feel like they are the one that's doing this. This Taurus is uncontrollable. They like to do bad things. And they steal from their mother's purse, okay? Ooh. Oh, maybe a Taurus loves you, actually. Hold on. This flipped out on its own. It's just like fucking... Who's the one that steals from their mother's purse? I want to find out because it says a Taurus loves you, okay? Um, what I was going to say was, this is the kind of person where... You can't leave anything around them, you know? This could be a child, like someone that's a child that, I hope so. <laughs> this person, definitely an ending, or this person's like, you put, you put an end to, like a harsh, painful ending or betrayal. This person betrayed you, or they feel betrayed. Yeah, they invested in some shit. Uh, they got betrayed by the people that they were working with here. I feel like this person, um, or, or somebody was in denial that, that somebody stole from there. Like, nah, that person wouldn't have done it. Someone like you. 
a Taurus either loves you uh, or you love a Taurus here, okay? Yeah, this is work. Somebody really worked hard to try to betray you, man. This is like work and work and work. Or you put all this work into yourself and you're investing in yourself and that's got somebody feeling like... <laughs> <laughs> I could use somebody. Yeah, now this person could actually use somebody like you in their life. And uh, I feel like you're gone. Yeah. Yeah, you're doing this all by yourself. Somebody, so you are, you're doing work. I feel like for the first time in your life, you're making money. Yeah, independently all by your damn self. You could have been codependent on family members or just friends or whatever. We all were. And uh, maybe you used to. For some of you, you used to maybe steal from people's purses. I mean, we all did fucking dirty shit. But whatever this is, somebody transformed and they can't stand it. Pisces, females, we're not going the fuck nowhere. I love you guys. Bye.